Continue. Wait, hold on, hold on. What'd you say a few seconds ago? Wait, what? I ain't the last one. Okay, well, the problem is it? my phone kind of turned off because I went to use the restroom real quick. But, of course, my phone decided to turn off. And so, I'm going to have to upload two parts because I have to start recording again. All right, bet. Okay. Uh, you want me on um, when you start? No, it's fine. It's recording right now. Alright, um, so yeah, Naruto, one day, comes back from his team training with Asuma Shikamaru, you know, it happens to run into Konohamaru. Basically, uh, Konohamaru proceeds to show Naruto his sexy jutsu, also showing Naruto his, uh, new friends that he made over the course of a few months. But Naruto sort of impressed, not to say the least. They have to run in. Latches did the Lord Rao Saka, who basically starts ch chasing Konohamaru after he calls her ugly and all, all that, and referring to her as the Naruto's girlfriend. So they run into Zara. Oh no, they run into Konkuro. <coughs> and Konkuro picks up Konohamaru, calling him a frat. And getting ready to hit him. Right before you could do that, though, Naruto suddenly appears in front of him, punches him in the face, sending him flying back a few inches. As Tamari on the background kills Konkuro. To stop fooling around, just leave him alone. Gara suddenly makes his presence known. It's all done, standing on the tree. And uh, Sasuke is an emo, so We're sitting on the tree, trying to act cool, like throwing a rock. Yeah, like very much that happens. And we continue to. Uh, Three days before the tuning, see Naruto meet up with Asuma as Asuma takes him to the weapon shop for him to purchase a new weapon so he'll be able to, well, uh, use it with his chakra nature. Kind of like how Asuma. So when they get to the <coughs> store, they see a few of them, like the thing. They see a sword and Naruto and, and Stab. And then he came across this leg. So he shows it to Asuma, telling him he likes it, and tries wind release on it a little bit. Seeing how it worked, he was able to destroy something. Basically, they went to go buy it, and Naruto. Dude, you kind of cut off for me. Uh, anime sensei. So, do I have to <clears throat> fill in a gap or something? Oh, no, I was just trying to make sure you could hear me now. Yeah. That's it. I managed to. Uh, uh, your voice kind of sounds distorted. Could change, but... we could, uh... Uh, your voice sounds distorted, but yeah.
Yeah. Your uh, your voice still sounds distorted. I don't know. Uh, your voice still sounds distorted. Yeah, I can. So we fast forward to the day of the exam. Where Naruto, you know, and Chief Bar get ready to sign and ensign. Not only Rock Lee at Beatles, challenging Naruto, claiming he is the strongest rookie, or no, strongest Genny. And Naruto accepts. So, uh, basically, Rock Lee charges at Naruto. Naruto thinking this is going to be an easy fight. Just charges at him. Not really thinking he'd have to put in effort to win. Suddenly, Lee appears behind him, sending him flying to the wall, hitting his back. As Naruto starts to get a little frustrated, realizes he ain't going to win unless he really tries. So he charges at Lee, and suddenly, Lee uppercuts him, sending him to the air, getting ready to do the primary loadings. But suddenly, he gets stopped by, uh, yo, uh, um, Lord Potato. Huh? Wait, wait. Uh, question. What? Um, did, uh, what you call it? Did the turtle stop, um, Lee from doing primary loadings in Canada? Uh, no, it was Mike Guy. Mike Guy, like, kicked him in the right. face. And then the yeah. turtle appear. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, suddenly, Mike Guy appears and kicks him in the face and then him flying back. And proceeds to lecture him on, he shouldn't do this, Lee. Don't do it, whatever, whatever. Basically telling him, that he should not use that unless it's a extreme circumstance. He's in danger or a threat. So they have their weird little guy sensei and Lee moment. I feel like that is a Genjutsu. I know, right? Like, how holy... Is. <laughs> it's an unbreakable Genjutsu. You think the Sikiyomi was unbreakable? <laughs> See, just get... Yeah. But go on. But there is one thing. Um, how can? Why did they say my guy don't got a chakra, but he can do the summoning jutsu? Ah, that's a good question. Unless the uh, turtle has little chakra to none. I guess I don't know. I don't know. I like how you use the turtle once time to like fly more, just to summon him and. Use him as a stepping stool at one time. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I, I have no clue how you can actually summon that. Same. <clears throat> but uh, yeah. After that, they proceed to get ready to sign up. And uh, come back the next day to take their first exam. Basically, when they get to the exam room, they're all spread out throughout the classroom. I'm going to say uh, Eno's on the left-hand side, Shikamaru's on the right-hand side, and Naruto's in the middle. Around, yeah, Hinata, just like in canon. I'm going to say that he's going to try to go to his consciousness and try to get his uh, angered self and Karama to help him out with this, but they end up rejecting, kicking him out. And he's thinking, shit, I'm screwed. No, I am screwed. So, he doesn't answer them. He simply just doesn't answer them. Well, Eno uh, does the mind transfer jutsu on Sakura, just like in canon. Shikamaru, uh, he's smart enough to do it. But too lazy. 
Yeah. So I guess she, uh, what you call it, uh, probably doesn't and just goes to sleep. <laughs> or goes to sleep and does the last minute. Don't we always do that? Yeah. But, uh, yeah. Basically, they all proceed to pass. Since Naruto does the same thing he did in canon, didn't answer nothing. And suddenly, the almighty Onko the Greatness order appears. Bursting through the window. She got nerfed in boards. Yeah, she got nerfed. Like, what the fuck? Like, why you make her fat? Like, I'm pretty sure she does miss. She was doing missions. Yeah, she... No way all the missions were done. Yeah. She was fat. <laughs> they did Uncle Dirty in Boruto. Like, the few people in Boruto are getting messed up by Kona Amaru. Come on, was trash. He, Boruto is stronger than him. How? <laughs> that don't make sense. Like, Naruto didn't surpass Kakashi until maybe the pain arc. Wait, wait. I, I want to say one thing. Okay. And Boruto, you know how Ishiki comes and, like, tries to take what's called, uh, what's called, uh, Kawaki? Why doesn't yeah. Rock Lee use the eight gates to fight against Ishiki? Like, Bad, so there was... Charged at him. They just charge at him, like, trying to see what he's gonna do. There's Konohamaru, who could have fucking done something. There's, there's Choji. There's, uh, oh, I mean, Tenten's fucking useless, but, uh, there's... Wait, why did you use the six toss weapon? He has them. Yeah. Wait. Come on. Come on, don't just charge at him. You're ninja. You're supposed to be strategy, right? He's a fucking yeah, god, at least strategy. Like, Konohamaru, put some nature into it. Uh, giant Rasengan. Something like that. Gunharmer, just, just summon out your monkey. Wait, can he actually not yeah. summon a monkey? Um, yeah, but it's like a small monkey. Like a baby monkey. Yeah, but... Okay, then... I think he has a toad summon. Yeah. What about, uh, what's it called? What about, um, My uh, not Micah. Uh, what about Rock Lee? He can definitely use the eight gates. Or, not the eight gates yeah. fully, but... Or maybe the seventh gate. He used it in the movie, in the last. Yeah. He used the seventh gate. Just give him a just give him a bottle of whiskey and he would have beat the fuck out of uh Ishiki. Facts. If he like combined it together, used eight seventh gate and drunken fist, Ishiki <laughs> would have been done for. <laughs> Ishiki would have been done for. Uh, Naruto would have needed to lose Karama. Was, man, I can't believe they got rid of Karama. They got they got rid of Kurama and Sasuke's Renegon. That's fucked up. They should have, if anything, they should have just waited until they kill Naruto or get rid of him. Yeah, but have them die together. Nah, it's just like kill Kurama into Baruto, make Baruto strong. No, <laughs> just kidding. Oh no. Uh, what's it called? Who else could have freaking helped in the fight against Ishiki? Oh, wait, you should probably go on to the water. She got that, um, 100 humans. Why is she doing nothing? Yeah. She wasn't even there. She was. Wait, what was Tsunade? Where's, where's Kakashi? Yeah, where were they at? I would say where's Jiraiya, but Jiraiya at least did help. It was just a clone, but hey. Yeah. Orochimaru, ain't he immortal now? <laughs> Well, shit, he's immortal, but he ain't there. Yeah, he don't really got the strength. I mean, sure, he can't die, but... He can't? It's like, he won't be able to do anything. I mean, he... He could, like, bring back people back from the dead? Bring back Mara or something like that. Yeah. Reanim reanimation like the, the previous Hokages before anything. Bring back Kashirama, Toriyama, bring back Kuruzen and Mendito. They probably could have done something to Ishiki. Exactly. Bring back Madara and his Sage of Six platform. Oh, oh. shoot, we getting sidetracked. Yeah, we getting sidetracked. <laughs> I hate what I just realized. That's my bad, y'all. My bad, y'all. 
Oh, but, really? Um, what do you call it? Uh, all right, so um, last one off. Dark. Oh, fasting, yeah. So they get ready for the second exam. And basically, Anko explains the rules telling them you get a heaven scroll and an earth scroll. Each group gets one scroll and you have to find the other. You have five days to survive, and if you don't come back within those five days, you're eliminated. And if you die, that's on you. You can kill if you want. That's optional. So they all take their scrolls. Team seven, team, team ten gets a heaven scroll. Yeah. So they gotta find an earth. So I'm gonna say that. They basically scatter, and um, Team Ten tries to go look for worlds with Naruto trying to sense nearby people, see if they can find anyone. And suddenly, a snake appears out of nowhere, suddenly swallowing up. Uh, but uh, yeah, and the other, what you call it, uh. And a person appears using a wind gale palm or something at Shikamaru, sending him flying back. As he coughs up a little bit of blood due to the fact that he hit a tree. But, uh, we can call it. As that happens, you know, just kind of just sits there for a second. Kind of just stunned and surprised. Realizes that she needs to jump off the battle. So gets ready. Gets her kuna and all that. And Shikamaru manages to get up, though bleeding a little bit. And they think Naruto is dead. So, I'm going to say that Shikamaru tried um, you know, attacking Orochimaru, charging at him. Sending him into the pit. And as Orochimaru is about to send him to the ground, Shikamaru manages to put an explosion tag on his back as it blows blows up in the air. Chikamaru thinks he killed Orochimaru, only to realize that he was still alive. What's little to no damage. Chikamaru tries using the shadow possession juice to paralyze Orochimaru. But Orochimaru was able to break through. And I'm gonna say uh yo Lord Potato. Yeah what? Well. Um, so I'm thinking, should we give Chico, Chikamaru a chakra nature? Uh, what do you think? <clears throat> yeah, think we should. Any, he had, I think he had fire or something? No. I don't know. His, no, I he think was? he didn't have any uh chakra natures because they mostly gave him the clan techniques. So, yeah. So on this one, we should definitely like give him a chakra nature. Yeah, what should we give him? Uh, good question. Um, wait, let's see. Maybe Earth? Earth would be a good one for defense, but you know, then again, uh... Yeah. And his shadow juice is more for defense, sort of. Yeah. Well, offense. Offense, mostly. Um, I was thinking of, like, how should I say, uh, what is it called? Uh, like water for some reason. But I don't even. Okay, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good for Shikamaru. That's fine. Yeah. So suddenly Shikamaru puts does the hand sign to it's a water water bullet. Yeah. At him, it's only Eno you know, to get away before he managed to catch her. As you know, well, doesn't listen to him and tries to attack Oroki Maru. Nearly stabbing him in the arm. As he managed to do that, he, what you call it? He just, uh, what you call it? It what? Turns into snake. Because it was a snake clone. Oh, right. And appears behind her, sending her back as she falls, having the tree catch 
the tree catch me from uh, pretty much falling to her death. But uh, basically, Chikamaru realizes that they're not going to be able to beat him. So to buy some time, he throws a smoke bomb, getting telling you know to run away, and he tries to get away himself. We fast forward to Nalu. As by now, he had already used the Shadow Clone Jutsu. Or no, no, no. He used the side. So which we call cut up the snake from the inside. Kick it out. So, he's thinking to himself. Huh, I got A snake just attacked me. So, as he gets up, and senses that Team 7, oh my god, the Team 10 is in danger. As he starts running as fast as he can, suddenly he appears to the sight of, you know, hanging from a tree, obviously unconscious, and Shikamaru trying his very to fight off the route. He can't just ask him. Damn, okay. Like, Shikamaru just hey, at that time, man, no chance. Against Orochimaru. I mean, yes, that is true, but you really gotta say it like that? Yeah, even though she, I rock the Shikamaru a lot. I do. But, I had to be up straight. <laughs> God damn. But, um, uh, uh, yeah. Naruto suddenly mostly took the fact that he sees, you know, hanging from a tree, blood dripping from her mouth. Yeah, mouth. Yeah, okay. that's right. And he suddenly appears in his rage state. Um, so it's about equivalent to Kyle Kent's on three. Right. Yeah. Okay. And suddenly appears in front of Orochimaru. Punching. And up to a point where he kind of just. His gut explodes. But it was a clone as he was able to substitute out the way. Ow. Dang. But, uh, yeah. He manages to substitute. And Naruto appears behind him, sending him flying back. As Naruto appears set up doing the, you know that combo he did against Sasuke in the final battle? I Bally? think it was the Naruto Sumaki Barrage. Yeah, Naruto Sumaki Barrage. Yeah. Yes. Doing that to the air. He prepares a wind style juice, sending flying as it destroys a few trees in the forest. As this wind style jutsu is stronger than. So the fact he's in a breach. As he sends Orochimaru flying, Orochimaru realizes what I have to do. So he realizes, okay, I'm not in my normal body, so I got to do something. So he tries to bite him. So what do you think? Should we give him curse mode? Uh, uh not really when you have a uh, nine tails i think karama would have kicked uh or tomorrow out of like the body because you yeah, realize cause, that like, when you get the um the the mark Rochimaru, i think enters your consciousness or something yeah he enters so, your Karama would help you kick him out. yeah you would just kick him out to the curve yeah or to make it more dramatic and cool, he basically just fires a tail to beast ball about it. Boom. It's pretty much destroying him. But that's like, what you call it? Uh, his conscience. Yep. So our Jamar is still doing both. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But uh, yeah. After that, Naruto is confused on what a Rochimaru will put you. Attempting to do, but shrugs it off and doesn't really give it. Doesn't give two fucks. So, he 
you suddenly appears getting ready to use a new technique. Basically, it's like the uh, what you call it. Uh. It's not rough. Then gone, but like kind of like just air, kind of he's gathering air and kind of forming it into a horror. Kamehameha. Kami, kami, kami. Like, like um. I don't know. Uh, what do you want to call it? Um, I think I'm. Maybe we'll call it a. Oh no! Uh, okay, it's fine. Wh- uh, wind rotation. Yeah. yeah. Shouting. Wind rotation juice. As he hits a rotumaru with it, it turns a rotumaru flying back to a point where rotumaru has uh, changed his mind. He's going to go after Sasuke. Knowing that Sasuke is a lot weaker than him, he goes and Naruto looks at the player to see if he's gone and notices he is gone. So he proceeds to go pick up, you know, from the tree and uh, check on Chief Chikamaru is okay. As Chikamaru is barely conscious, he kind of passes out, but Naruto can tell that he's not dead. So he lets him rest and kind of just, um, well, kind of advantage him, them, uh, fix the muscle. So, I guess we could fast forward to, uh, what you call it, to when they, uh, to when they, uh, finish and get back after they have passed the test. Mm-hmm. So, they probably want to do the preliminary round, so... We can go half and half. You could do uh, one of the matches. I can do the other. Oh, okay. You can go first, though. So. Okay, sure. I'll go first. So, so you want to do the uh, permanent round? Okay. Yeah. Okay, let me go in. So, after the whole fight, uh, well, between Archimar and all that, and getting to the, uh, per- uh, well, permanent rounds, this is where Naruto, he is actually just waiting there. Seeing if Eno's okay. Eno says that she's fine and just hope for the best that she doesn't have a harder opponent to fight against. So, this is where, well, the board is going up and saying, well, not going up. Basically, Haruzen is saying that this is a permanent rounds and yeah. Now, the board is kind of lighting up until the, well, names appear. First match. Kiba Inazuka versus Naruto Uzumaki. Now, Naruto is just like saying, hmm, I see. Dog Breath is actually gonna fight me. Now, of course, this is where Kiba says, uh, Kiba says, you think I'm gonna lose to you, you weakling? This is where Naruto says, does this bitch just call me a weakling? This is where Akamaru, he doesn't wanna fight against Naruto because uh, he already knows what happened last time. He ain't trying to throw hands with someone who absolutely whooped the hell out of them. Especially Kiba and Sasuke, so he is like thinking. Well, of course, if things go south, uh, Akamaru is going to run away. Kiba, he's going to get his ass whooped, but yeah. Now, this is where uh, Naruto says, bring it on, dog breath. And of course, Kiba rushes at, well, um, well Naruto. This is where Naruto dodges a punch from us. Uh, Kiba and grabs Kiba from the face and throwing him down to the ground. So of course this is what Akamaru realized. This is a terrible idea and runs away. So of course Kiba gets up and says, Akamaru, where are you going? Akamaru is leaving and of course he runs towards well, Hinata and the others. This is where uh, Kiba says, screw it, I'll fight against you. So he makes his claws a little bit longer and goes to Kentua, uh, Naruto. Now, of course, this is where uh, Naruto just dodges an attack from uh, Kiba. And Kiba says, well, Kiba says, die, you bastard. That's where Naruto says. He's getting a little little bit ticked off and annoyed with this guy. So this is where he kind of puts angry, like, well, his anger kind of builds up a little bit. 
until he kind of puts his anger like chakra around his like leg just to kick Kiba so hard in the stomach that he just spits up like he just start coughing out a lot of spit. So yeah, Kiba is just coughing out that many. So this is where Kiba says, I'm not losing to you until Naruto just grabbed them from like the hair, well not hair, from the coat and just kind of threw them away. Now, of course, this is where Kiba says, are you throwing me like some kind of trash? Am I some kind of trash? Am I some kind of joke to you? This is where Naruto says, yes. And this is where Kiba says, Arr. he growls and just rushes at Naruto. Naruto, what he does is knee him right in the fucking face, knocking him out already. Yeah, Naruto puts more anger chakra into his knee and hitting him in the face. This is where Kiba is knocked out and the guy who is named Hat ha, has Hai What is it? Okay, name? I think Hayate. Hayate. Hi Hayate, I think so. Yeah. Yeah. He says, uh Naruto Zamaki has won. Kiba Nizuka is knocked the fuck out. Not really how he said it like that, but yeah. So probably thought that. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably thought that. Wait, so you want me to like go through the uh, preliminary rounds and then? Yeah. Okay. So, are you gonna? Uh, it just has something to do though. Uh, so after that, uh, you might have to. We can continue with part three on uh, whenever you get a chance. Okay. Do, do okay, got it. So next match is Ino versus Sasuke Harno. Well, Ino Yamanaka versus Sasuke Harno. Now, Sasuke tries to really fight against Ino, but, you know, Ino, she been training with Asuma and the others, so, um, uh, she's kind of stronger than, uh, Rajon Ken herself. And this is where Sasuke tries to punch at, well, Ino, but Ino dodges that shit and punches at Sasuke. Ino did try to, well, use mind transformation, well, he, uh, mind you too. Of course, Sasuke still has her weird... Freaking creation in her mind or whatever. And does punch like Eno out. Of course Eno does like. Says what the hell is that even possible. That's where Sasuke tries to punch at Eno. But Eno dodges and punches Sasuke in the face. But then he she feels hurt also. She feels hurt because of the whole Orchimaru fight. She's kind of hurt also. So right now she's trying to go away from what's called. Sasuke. Sasuke tries to pull out a kunai and stab Ino until Ino did like manage to disarm her kunai and just stab at Sasuke. Sasuke, she felt so much pain but she couldn't give up because uh, this is where uh, Sasuke is seen. Sasuke is not giving two fucks about it. This is where Naruto says, go Ino. Ino, she gets encouraged and she gets a boost of confidence. And this is where she fully punches Sasuke in the face, knocking her out. It wasn't much of a battle, but it was good enough. He, Hayate says, uh, Ino Yamanaka has just won. Sasuke Rahara knows that Trashkin has just lost. Next battle is Sasuke Uchiha versus uh, one of Kabuto's teammates. Now, Kabuto did still give up and all that. Now, this is where um, Sasuke, he doesn't have the curse mark. He doesn't have the Sharingan, though. And, well... He managed to kick the guy's ass until he got his ass kicked also at the same time. But Sasuke managed to prevail and all that. This is the next match. Shikamaru versus... Uh, Shikamaru versus uh, Tayu... Not Tayu, what am I talking about? Uh, Kim. Ken, I think her name was. Yeah, Kim, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Uh, Shikamaru says Kim... Uh, well... Shikamaru says, this is such a drag. I feel like I should just give up. This is where Eno and Nar just kind of smack him in the head saying, no, you're not giving up. And Asuma says, yeah, you're not giving up. Nar, it's not Nar, Shikamaru says, this is such a drag. But yeah. This is where, uh, this is where, um, uh, what's it called? Tayuya? Uh, not to, bleh. Kim just says, huh, you're not going to defeat me. Uh, 10 seconds later, um, well, Shikamaru managed to just outsmart her and just say, um, no thanks. And, of course, is where Kim, like, gives up and all that because Shikamaru uses Shadow Jutsu and she's never actually heard of the, uh, 
shadow paralysis. So yeah, she easily gets defeated without getting hurt. Now, of course, the next match it is well, uh, Choji versus. Who did Choji go against again? Um, I think it was some random person. Or no, it was Conqueror. Conqueror. Was it Conqueror? I thought it was uh, the guy with the I air think... pressure. Uh, um, Dazu, cause something like that. Dozu, I think Do- the name was. Dozu, Dozu, Dozu. Oh God. Um... Yeah. You, you know what? Air cannon guy was against uh was Ka. Uh, wait. Yeah, air cannon yeah. guy went against Choji. Now, of course, this is where Choji managed to, well. Absolutely get blown away into the wall and actually lost because the guy can like legit put an air cannon think of it like Not almighty push, but uh All for once uh air cannon when he goes against what's called all might So yeah This is where um He lost and of course uh, s- uh The air guy won now of course the next match it is the sound guy versus who did he go against? Not Rock Lee. Um, um no the sound guy in original canon he got he, he got his arms like broken by Sasuke. So he is actually going yeah. she he is actually going against Conqueror and Conqueror whooped his ass super easily by Conqueror doing long range and uses puppets. Poisoning the guy and the guy gets knocked out. Conqueror's a little bit stronger than that guy, isn't he? Yeah. Because Conqueror... I think Conqueror was equivalent to Shino, I think. Much stronger. Yeah. Now, uh, what's it called? This is where Tamari, she's going against Tenten, and you know how that fight goes. Um, Tenten is not powerful enough like the swing is, but yeah. She still gets knocked out. Yeah. Um... Oh yeah, Gara versus uh, Rock Lee. That would still go the same as Central Cannon. It's still a big rip for uh, Rock Lee to lose his legs. Like, that's fucked up. Yeah. Um, it's called, uh, oh yeah. This is uh, the next match it is against, well, <sighs> Hinata Hugo versus uh, Neji Hugo. Now, of course, this is where the fight, well, Hinata's having kind of dread over not really wanting to fight him but yeah of course this is where uh neji still fights her and of course tried to kill her but this is where well who do you want hinata to go out because i usually make mm. sasuke do it but oh, no mm. fight the safer yeah the saber whatever so- um, or do you just want her to just die? Be, it could A, B, Naruto, or B, the Joma. Because you can make a debate that Naruto is fast enough to get there as well. Yeah, he's fast enough to do it anyway. He just has to have enough rage. Yeah. But at the same time, well, I mean, yeah, he will have enough rage. Uh, you want to script Naruto. So Naruto yeah. was... So Naruto was seeing this fight and of course is getting angrier because Hinata was a kind girl to him. So in the beginning what I said about Hinata, nah, she's actually going to be kind to Naruto. It's just she doesn't like Naruto like that. So of course this is where Naruto appears to run Hinata and blocks the attack from what to call uh, Neji. And Neji says, you bastard! Your destiny is to lose to me. And Naruto punch him in the fucking... Well, not punch him in the face. Slap the shit. Smacking him straight to a wall. And uh, making a... Uh, what's called? A crevice. Or a crater. Of uh, Neji's body. So, yeah. So, this is where they say Neji Hugo still won and blah, blah, blah. Now, this is where they talk about the finals. Uh, the finals will go in one month. And, of course, this is where... They talk about that... Naruto is going against Neji. Neji is happy. He gets his revenge against Naruto. Naruto's extremely happy and saying, I'm going to fucking murder that guy. And not really. Most of his rage self is kind of having that insight. But Naruto yeah. also is kind of having it also in his mind. This is where 
Eno is going as against Tamari, uh, Shikamaru. Well, not Eno. No, no. Eno is going against someone else. Uh, Shikamaru is going against Tamari. Like everyone's original canon. Sasuke is still going against Skara. Conqueror is actually going against. What did I say? Also, one. Oh yeah, the uh, the uh, air cannon guy. Well, I'm yeah. just I'm gonna just say Conqueror went against the air cannon guy. Uh, yeah. Shino, he, I didn't actually put Shino against anyone, so Shino just gets a free pass and just goes against, who, what, who? Um, you can, maybe, Shik, eh. Shik, is already going against Tamari. You know what, the yeah. only person that Shino can probably go against is Eno. Probably, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. With that happening, this is where uh, Harusa says uh, one month begin and good luck everyone. This is where Naruto goes up to well Asuma and says, can you train me? Asuma says, sure kid, let's go. And yeah, uh, Ino is actually going to go be trained by her parents. While Shikamaru is the same, everyone will go back to the same original canon. Of course, Sasuke is going to be trained by Kakashi. Kakashi just really... Really just, like, going to help uh, Sasuke and all that. But, yeah. Now. This is where I'm going to do a time skip. Since Naruto never met uh, Shoraya, he actually got more jutsu from, well, Asuma. And also did train with his scythe. His scythe, he can now use, well. He can add wind and fire together to make... The scythe be much, much stronger with the fire. Now, of course, he also decides to, well, learn, well, see if he got any more chakra natures. Because also, I wanted to see if he had any more. Now, the other chakra nature that he will actually kind of get from the paper is actually two chakra natures. Because, F it, why not? So, Anime Sensei, I'm actually going to give him water and lightning. That's yeah, that's one. Yeah. Well, since, oh, since water is a defense jutsu anyway, it's a defense type anyway. And yeah. lightning to kind of attack anyway. Yeah, it makes sense because his dad had lightning style too. Yeah. I mean, lightning is somewhat fire if you really want to think about it. Because if lightning strikes the ground, yeah. it kind of creates fire. Exactly. And water is mostly from his Uzumaki heritage. Yeah, Uzumaki is, I think, we're known for uh, water, uh, style. water style. Because, I mean, they live on an island where there's whirlpools. Exactly. So, yeah. I can't really see Earth style or Earth Jutsu being Naruto. His lightning chakra can also be that of like how Minotaur was called the fastest yellow flash. Yeah. But. Yeah. So Naruto gets those two other chakra natures. And so. Awesome. It just says. You want. Uh, let's just try in your scythe. And also your chakra blaze. Since Naruto will still have the chakra blaze and the scythe. So he managed to. Put lightning in his well sight to make it more more deadlier, and he has kind of trained with lightning chakra jutsu and all that. Like Asuma doesn't know any like lightning jutsu or like any water jutsu, so he does ask like other Jonins for like different scrolls of theirs or anything, or just go to the library just to get some scrolls for Naruto. But yeah, Naruto he learns. Water dragon, uh, water tsunami, water, you know what, skirt, water jutsu called tsunami, where he kind of managed to create enough water, where if he's on water, he can actually make a tsunami, or, uh, water shit style, so, where he spits out water, like a jet stream, and can actually cut through anything, so, yeah, if you really think about it, if you can put water pretty fast, it can pretty much cut through anything, even metal. So, yeah. <clears throat> so 
So yeah, with that happening, this is where he also learns from his lightning jutsu. Lightning, uh, lightning touch, which that just allows his hand to kind of be lightning. And if he touches anything, it's just, just kind of electricity them. Um, lightning, uh, what's it called? What else lightning juices do I give him? Ooh, lightning panther. A, yeah. what, where he can create a panther. I know I'm kind of copying that from, uh, what's it called? The black lightning panther. Cause, yeah. Yeah, that, that doesn't matter. But, yeah. Ooh, should we, we should we give Naruto just normal lightning or just red lightning? I think red and the lightning that'd be pretty creative. Yeah, that's why. Since he got like the what is rage? Yeah. Yeah, his rage just kind of makes it red. Now water would just look like yeah. he just made blood. <laughs> so, yeah. So yeah, but yeah. This is where Naruto is just ready for the ch final tuning exams. But yeah. So, um. I also want to just pause it because I actually feel like going to use the Russian. Or do you just want to end it off here? I don't know. Um. Well, I got some things to do, so we might have to. But, uh. Just, um. DM me when, when you're ready for a part two, or I'll stop you. Oh, okay. I mean, part two. Part two. Yeah. Part two, yeah. But, yeah, but uh, okay, so um, yeah, uh, this is where we're gonna end it off. Have a nice potato day, potato night, potato seed, potato, potato. And you want to say anything else, Anime Center? Um, yeah, uh, if you guys like, subscribe to Lord Potato and uh, go check me out. If you are uh, interested in Seven Deadly Sins, my hero, check his channel out and check out my other one, Deadly Chaos. But, uh, it was nice seeing you. Yeah. So, we're gonna end it off here. And, yeah. Bye-bye.